Hello, I'm AJ Booker from ajbox.co.uk. I'm a designer and purveyor of my own designs of unique contraptions, ingenious inventions and mechanical marvels, including this, which is a complete credit card sized crossbow kit. This is the whole thing. Apart from this, you need a rubber band to provide the power and it all works. And not only that, it even comes with a set of bolts inside it. And those bolts, there's five of them, you can fire with this catapult, uh, crossbow quite dangerously. You have to take care of this. So I'm going to show you stage by stage how to build it. The first stage is to get all the bits out. And that's easy because they're pre-cut and they just snap out from their housing. So I'm going to fast forward a bit and show you all the bits laid out. Hello, welcome back. I now have pushed all the pieces out and I've cleared all the little holes which help assemble the thing. Now bear in mind you've got to clear these holes completely. Clearing means taking out little pieces that are left in the middle of them. There's a little push stick that comes in the version I'll send you which makes this easier. So we have the front part the rubber band attaches to. The two sides that make up the body, a spacer to make sure the body parts are far enough away that these can slide smoothly between them. The trigger and the trigger pin that holds the trigger into position and allows it to pivot. This bit was the most difficult bit to do, apart from fitting it onto a credit card sized piece of plywood. Uh, and this variation just here took 13 or 14 goes. And then we have a little thing here which holds the back together so the two sides remain parallel and it fires smoothly. To assemble, very straightforward, what you do first of all is you'll notice that on this centre piece there's a little D for front and this A, A, A. So we first of all make sure the D's at the front and we put in the spacer. It just pops in like that. Now take care with this piece that it's the same way round. The temptation is to put it to the writings on the other side. Don't do that. Do it the same way round. So the slot at the bottom is on the bottom of that piece. So if you've done it right, on one side you'll see writing, on the other side you won't. And then we're going to pop this piece in here. Now because this is weakened by the holes that join it, you have to support it. So line it up, put it down flat like that and push down to join it together. And that gives us a nice secure bit there and holds the front together. To do the back, we just pop in the little spacer where it says D, and that gives us our finished crossbow. If you want to make it stronger, you can add a little blob of glue to these pieces, but it's not necessary most of the time. To finish off, we have the trigger. The trigger goes inside, and then we line up the pinhole. You may just about be able to see all the way through there. And the pin itself I've made with some little springy bits built into it. And that should go in quite easily and push all the way through. Oh, I've dropped it. It is very small. Push all the way through to the other side. So I'm just going to do that again. There we are. And there. And you won't see it emerge from there, but it does go in far enough that it works. And the trigger's a tiny bit stiff on purpose. So the next bit is the rubber band. Before I do that, I just want to show you how it works. So the rubber band will stretch from here to here, back to here, and this little trigger bit here will hold the rubber band, and because of a very slight angle on the trigger, it will hold it into position until you pull it down and it fires. And when it fires, it hits this. And this is one of our bolts, and that slides in that slot. In fact, if you want even more lethality, you can always put a tiny bit of candle wax in this slot. That works really well as well and then the rubber band will hit the back and push it out. So next stage I'll show you the rubber band. Welcome back, here we have the rubber band in position. For a longer band you can start at the bottom on these slots, come round, wrap round and then go to the trigger. The trigger is very much a hair trigger, I didn't have enough room in order to fit the size to fit much of a trigger on. So this is about the limit of how thick a band needs to be. It's better to use even thinner bands or even a piece of elastic that you might use for dressmaking. That would work very well. And then you merely load up with the ammo of your choice, pushing it all the way up so it meets that, and then pull the trigger. And that's all there is to it. So that's it, a crossbow a size, sorry, credit card size crossbow powered by a single rubber band that comes with five bolts. Now you can buy this from my shop 
from ajbox.co.uk there's a link to my Etsy shop and it will cost you £3.50 in English pounds plus whatever it costs to ship it to you worldwide. So please do come and have a go, buy something fantastic. And this is one of many, many different mechanisms that I've designed myself and that I sell. Thank you very much.